What's happening, y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of... You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Malice Black, and uh, it's crazy, I got pee here. <laughs> Usually, this guy does sports. The Paul but, uh, More important than that, man. For real, though, like... We got Struggle Jennings here today, y'all. In the building. Y'all give it up for Struggle, struggle in the Jennings, building. Though. In the building. I appreciate you being on the show, my man. Hell so, yeah. Today, Hell yeah. Uh, Struggle Jennings is here uh, at the speakeasy tonight, putting on a little show with Bub Sparks. Um, so when we get into things right now, man, uh, you want to talk about like what's going on? What we got going on here tonight? Yeah, man, this is the My Brother's Keeper Tour. Me and uh, Bubba Sparks are dropping the EP five songs just me and him we were already doing the tour and then we were like you know what let's put some music with it we just rocking man going around the country doing shows so for some people don't know you want to tell them about yourself man so what's up no. it take all day man <laughs> long story man i guess the the short end is man i'm just another one of y'all chasing dreams that's it of my story i'm okay. sharing my journey man through uh through music and social media and whatever I respect that, man. Actually, like listening to your music, man, like, bro, your lyrics are deep, man. It's really deep. Yeah, that's just being an MC, man. Yeah, that, some of that shit like, it, it, it puts yeah. me in a thinking process. I'd be like, I thought I had deep shit, but damn, man. <laughs> I'm on UGK and Tupac, man. Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. That's a like, start combo right yeah, there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. So, um, I also noticed, man, you're the grants in the Wild Jam. Yeah. Wild well, Jam right? Yeah. And I just want to know, like, how much of an influence he is because he's the one I want to say he's the originator of saying fuck the industry like how how does how great you know does he inspire you man? how so much, much influence him is he look he's been gone 15 years man he passed away in 2002 and there's still something that I read or something that happens daily from him that still inspires me you know of course growing up as a kid I was inspired by um, the nice things he had the fame, the, you know, the lifestyle he was living. Uh, as I got older, I got to listen to his music and really appreciate it as a lyricist, you know what I mean? Because he was telling the story to common people too. Then as I got to really get a little older and, and realize what he did in the industry as far as writing his own contracts and fuck the labels, fuck the award shows, um, standing on his own ground, doing what he wanted to do. And, not conforming to what was country music. At his in his era, they were saying, you know, what he was doing wasn't country because it wasn't authentic country. Now they say William well, Jennings is authentic country. So that inspires me to just keep doing what I'm doing. Fuck a genre. Now, I really respect that a lot. Yeah, man, fuck a genre. Because, because yeah. trying to do this independently is hard as yeah. fuck. fuck yeah. Dude. <laughs> and I, I respect yeah. that a lot, man. Especially being corn here, being, you know, uh, a group that's trying to do it as well, not trying to get signed and all that, trying to just do it on our own. Yeah, man, and, and the reality is nowadays with the way shit is, man, and all that social media and stuff, you can do it on your own. You know, I mean, of course, there's perks to being on a label, but at the end of the day, man, there's a lot of fuck shit that comes with being on a label, too. So I promote anybody to stay independent as long as they can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, like got guys, you got guys like, yeah, Tech. Tech. Uh, you even got guys on another scale like my little brother Jelly Roll. Uh, that's oh, yeah. Bring Jelly him Roll, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, how, yeah, like, how do y'all? Hell, yeah. I know, I know y'all Y'all known each other for, like, forever. Man. Hell, like, yeah. Like, 15 years deep. Best friends. And he's actually going to be out here, uh, I want to say, the 23rd, I think. Yeah. He's doing a show out in Denver. Yeah, he's in Denver at uh, the Roxy on the 23rd. Yep. We yeah. just played there last night. Um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, me and him actually just finished a project called Wailing and Willie. Oh, for real? Yeah, they just did okay. a Vice Land piece on it. Um, it's on YouTube right now. We should be dropping it probably July, August, and then we're hitting the road September, October. Hell yeah. We're doing a uh, uh, 25 city tour behind it. Hell That's yeah. What's up. Yeah, me and Jelly have been best friends about 15 years, man, on, on the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, we came up in music together, but, you know, we we're in the streets together too, so, like, we have a different different connection than most people. Uh, you know, he's, he's a prime example, though, that you can do it by yourself. Hell yeah. And fucking kill yeah, it. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's killing Hell it. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's killing Hell it. yeah. Um, my next question, man, like, we got any upcoming projects? With yeah, I got the My Brothers Keep with me and Bubba Sparks. I got uh, Way the New Willie with me and Jelly Roll. Um, then my solo album, I'm, I'm shooting for September. 
got a few songs produced by Yellow Wolf, song produced by Jim Johnson, Scatterbrains. My DJ is doing a lot of the production on it. He just produced the Wayne and the Project and the uh, My Brother's Keeper Projects. And I, I want to say, like, I remember in 2011, man, like, when, you know, Slow American started coming out, like, you was, like, at the center of it. Yeah. All that. Man, yeah, I, yeah. I was that, man. Like, yeah. It was, uh, it, was, it was cool seeing it come up, you know, and, and seeing the movement, you know, because, like, it, it was really, like you said, 2011 is when it really started bubbling. And, um, we got to cover that Concrete magazine, and it was weeks later that I got the call show. Yeah, I got locked mm. up November 7th, 2011, so you know, it's gone for five years. But Coming I mean, home to it and seeing how it had grown and how much of an impact it had and knowing, watching it from the beginning and then coming home to it and see how incredible it was. Because I can see, like, you know, just talking right now, like, from your roots and your background and all that, man, like, I could tell that, like, you you, you really pushed them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you you yeah. had the basis of it, man. You, you, had, you got the style, man, all of it, man. Yes, yeah, American is a, uh, it's a crew, but more than anything, it's a mind frame. I feel that, I feel that. Yeah. Hey, shout out, Wolf is fixing to drop that trial by fire, man. Y'all will be, y'all, y'all, y'all better be ready. You heard, you heard it, you heard it, yeah. you heard it, yeah. so, you heard it first. Y'all not allowed to set a release date, just know it's coming soon. Oh, okay. you heard it, yeah. and that's all you need. So yeah, before we wrap it up, there's any other shout outs you want to give Man, shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all coming down, man. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's been here that's um, showed up to these venues, man. We've had great shows. You know, some of them been small crowds, but they've been, you know, just full of just loving fucking people, man. You know what I mean? They've been great, great shows. I'm glad, I'm glad our little city here can treat you right now. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I love Colorado, man. Every corner of it, you know what I mean? Like, and this has been a great tour, too. Like, I got a chance to go through Montana, man. I hiked the mountain fucking drank water from the waterfall into Yellowstone. My daughter tried to take a selfie with a bison, almost got ran over. Like, Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seemed to have a But that's <laughs> what the tour is. <laughs> but that's life, though. Yeah, freedom, that's, man, that's, that's, that's the beautiful thing about life, though. Freedom, man. Don't you know what I mean? Granted, Every day is yeah. a blessing. Every day is a blessing. Yeah, so uh, definitely appreciate you. Yeah, man. Hey, man, it's crazy. I wish we was on the show. I wish we had more time, man. Yeah. Well, I can come back, man. Look, anytime y'all ready, y'all bring y'all's ass to Nashville. We'll do an interview down yeah, in my neighborhood. Yeah. Nashville, Nashville, Shelby County, Rutherford County. Uh, we on the way. Yeah. This is another episode of Know What I'm Saying. I'm your host, yeah. Miles Black. Quan Chi on the camera. Struggle Jennings once again, ladies and gentlemen. Pete, and we out. And we got uh, the main man Bubba Sparks here. What up? There's a dog. Bubba's a sexual singer, strong as a god. Crank the chains and there's a dick. Just a little bit of a point in the sky. Taste the sun, it's a little bit of a sky. Try to find me.